local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good evening, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice here on the radar that we are dry. It looks like we're going to stay dry the rest of the night. We're going to have some clouds in and out of our backyards. We may even have a little bit of fog around later tonight, but you need to know that the chance for any significant rain or thunderstorms is, is gone for tonight, and really it's not going to happen tomorrow either. Let's talk Friday, and you'll notice Friday... I don't want to say it's going to be a day where you're going to see nothing but blue skies. There are going to be some clouds around every now and again. You're going to see your fair share of blue skies, though, and it is going to be dry on Friday. Friday looks to be a quiet weather day for us, albeit hot, not especially humid, but very hot. Tomorrow night, skies will be fair. Saturday starts dry, 7 a.m., we're going to see our fair share of sun. So we head later Saturday afternoon. A stray shower or thunder shower cannot be ruled out in areas along and south of, say, Highway 460. But you need to know the vast majority of us are dry here as we start out the weekend. It's by Sunday where a few more thunder showers may try to work its way in. All right, the upper level pattern is such that we're going to have a big dome of high pressure situated to the west of us. That dome of high pressure is going to keep us hot. It's going to increase our humidity. We're going to have through Sunday a west wind that could potentially be breezy from time to time. And we're looking at highs in the mid to upper 90s. This heat dome is encompassing a whole lot of communities. Friends, we are not alone. The heat is all over the place. We'll show you that here in just one second. Just know it's 1117 and it's still 80 degrees right now in Roanoke. 77 in Lynchburg, 76 Danville, 73 South Boston. You're in the mid to upper 60s in Hot Springs and also in Covington. Further south, it's even hotter. It's 82 in Columbia, also in Wilmington at this hour. We have heat advisories really extending from parts of Colorado all the way east towards the Ohio River Valley. We even have some heat advisories up, say, closer to the Big Apple. No heat alerts, though, for us. Could that potentially change as we head into the weekend? It might. But as of now, we don't have any heat advisories, excessive heat watches, or any excessive heat warnings. But just know that with highs tomorrow in the middle 90s, we're going to be even hotter this weekend with temperatures reaching their peak, their pinnacle, on Sunday. By then, highs will be between about 95 and 100 for many of us. Overnight tonight, we're warm, a touch humid. Some fog may develop later tonight. Overnight lows about 62 to 70. So if you're thinking to yourself, man, it just seems as though we're having a lot more in the way of warm summer nights. You would be right. The latest uh, study from Climate Central says that the overnight lows in 2021, which was, of course, last year, are and were about four and a half degrees warmer than they were in 1970. So yes, it is warmer during the day and it's warmer at night as well. Let's talk about that three day zone by zone forecast highs in the NRV for the next three days, 90 to 93 in the highlands may have a couple of showers or thunder showers by Sunday. South side, you're looking at highs 95 to 100 for the next three days. In Lynchburg, you're fairly quiet weather-wise through Sunday. It's next week where things may turn a little dicey from time to time. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will be the name of the game Monday through Thursday, especially from lunchtime on. Across the Roanoke Valley, 98 Sunday, 95 Monday. Hey, Rachel, we go down to 90 on Tuesday. <laughs> Hooray! Break off the winter coat, but then we're right back in the lower 90s as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. So highs, Rachel, in the 90s for the next week with lows in the 70s.